Well, Graham came here to Orlando International Airport to meet with airport workers that her campaign says earn a poverty wage as little as $5.23 an hour. Graham walked around the airport with a group of airport subcontractors who performed jobs ranging from pushing wheelchairs to cleaning airline cabins. She says even with tips, most of those workers can't make ends meet. Now, the governor of Florida appoints five of the seven members of the airport governing board, and Graham says if elected, she will appoint members who will raise the wages of these workers. So we've got to put a living wage in place at this airport so that everyone who works here can work hard, do a good job, but also have enough money to be able to pay their rent, buy their food, pay for their medicine. The airport workers who were with Graham today say they want their minimum wage to be raised to $15 an hour, and they'd also like the right to unionize. The latest polls show Graham, who is the only woman running for governor in Florida, and the other four major Democratic candidates all remain in the hunt as the August 28th primary election approaches. Now, this Thursday night, the Democratic candidates will all gather for a debate in West Palm Beach, and we will bring that to you live right here on West 2 at 7 p.m. on Thursday night. Live at Orlando International Airport, Amanda Ober, West 2 News. Okay.